This is Ernie C from Body Count, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey, fuckers, this is Rockwell Anderson here at Chicago Open Air, year two, day two, with Mr. Ernie C. Introduce yourself. What band are you in, Ernie? I, I forgot. Oh, well, I'm in this rock and roll band called Body Count. We, you know, we play loud stuff and make a lot of noise and, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and, and I think I've heard of them. Um, isn't there isn't there a rapper in your band? No, he's a television guy. He's, he's on oh. he's on he's on television. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he's and, a cop. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a cop. He's a he's in our band. He's a yeah. singer. Yeah. 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 I, I, ice ice not not ice ice baby. Not not ice baby. Not ice cube. Ice lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the oldest joke in the world. It's like the com the commercials. I die when I see the commercial. I'm like, really? That's the best they could do. <laughs> hey. You, know. you do what you gotta do, especially yeah. on TV. You know those fuckers on TV. They, they paid they, them. They yeah. paid them for it. You gotta get paid. Well, at least there's money in in TV. They're, they're in shit music for he money. Said, here. He said that made them more popular than anything because it was on during football season. So everyone that doesn't watch NBC or no rap or listen to Body Count, they saw that commercial. They're like, oh, that's who that is. Yeah. Yeah, the, the lemonade guy. That, the that, lemonade that's guy. him with the little girl the in, the, in the suburbs. Yeah. But hey, enough about Ice T. That's about the singer. Yeah. We, okay. uh, we he's the guitar player. He's a fucking diva, right? I mean, uh, all singers are. Yeah, you know, they, 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 they go in a pot all together, you know? Yeah. yeah, singers. That's why we're talking to the cool guy in the band, the yeah. guitars. It's instrumentals. We're working on instrumentals. That's. That's all we're gonna listen to. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I see you're out of a job with Body Count. You're, it's gonna be Ernie and the boys, okay? <laughs> That's it, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Body Count, you're not out here for no reason. You guys dropped an album recently. Tell yeah. us all about it. We dropped an album, and it's, it's Believe it or not, it's selling. You know, that's something that people don't even say anymore. We're selling records. You know why? Because we made a good record. That's the catch. Of my, to sell records, make a good record. Don't write one song and, and throw it on iTunes and expect for people to buy your record because you have one song. You know, write a record. We wrote it. We took time. We wrote a record. We put our friends on the record, and it, it, it came out well. And I've seen one of the videos off that record. Uh -huh called No Lives Matter. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to talk about that real quick? Well, you know, that it, it, it's more about uh, economics and, and things that are going on now. It, it started, it, 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 we're, we're gonna, it's not Black Lives Matter. That's one thing. We're talking about no lives when it comes to people with money talking about us. You know what I mean? None of our lives matter. You know, whether you're black, white, or whatever, no lives matter to the powers that be. So that's what that song is about. It's getting down to the core of we're all the same. There's no difference between no one. You know, not black or white. Exactly. I definitely encourage you, everybody to check out the new album, the video, of course. And Ernie, we were going to talk about tattoos, but you don't have any. No, I don't have any. You know, it's like, I'm scared of needles, man. It's like, I'm scared of just pain. I, I try to walk through life with no pain. You know, I don't like being uncomfortable. So that's why I don't have a, I have stick-ons. I do stick-ons every once in a while. But we do have some mutual friends. <laughs> we have some mutual friends. Uh, t tell us uh, who you recommend, even though you don't have any ink yourself. Some of the guys in the band, who do they get their ink from, and who do you recommend? My bass player gets them from Corey Miller. You know, there's a great a guy called Greg Sumi up in Fresno who's really good. And you can go, and my friends from Sullen, they know all the, the, the tattoo artists around. So, you know, there's great tattoo artists, but I just don't want a tattoo yet. I'm gonna, I might do it one day, you know. But I quit drinking, so that that I can't get drunk and get a tattoo. So I have no excuses to get a tattoo. So you're I'm never too old. I'm gonna give this quick story about Chicago Open Air last year. Okay. I don't know Johnny Pool. You obviously know the band Johnny Pool. Bodies uh -huh. hit the floor. Uh -huh. The older gentleman John Hetlinger okay. was here performing Bodies last year. Okay. John is 81 years old. Okay. He got his first tattoo of Drowning Pool with Drowning Pool. So okay. you're never. You're, you're nowhere near 81, so you're never well, you too never old. Know. You never know. 81, I remember 21, so now, you know, it's not too far off. So I'm at 81, if I don't have a tattoo, come get me. We'll get a tattoo. We're going to go get, get Ernie out of the home and uh, drag him out for a tattoo. I might be on stage with Kiss. <laughs> you might be. We we'll played last night. Here, here. In 1994, this is a true story, we were the opening act on Kiss's farewell tour. And 23, later, 23 years later, you're both playing the same festival. There we go. It's a long goodbye. So yeah, it's, it's a long, long goodbye. It might be our farewell tour. You never know in this business. And then 23 years from now, we'll be playing again. We'll be doing this interview again. Saying, you well, know. I saw Ozzy's farewell tour in 1994. 
Yeah. See? 94. It was a year for farewell tour. Yep. <laughs> no more tours tour. <laughs> no more tours till the next tour. Yeah, tour. Exactly. Exactly. So we just never know in this fucking business. No more tour. Er, next tour tour. That's gonna be the name of your next next album and tour. No. <laughs> Be a good day, but you know we'll, we'll keep it going. You know, just keep it, just just keep riding the train. Just, just, as long as you can play and people show up, let's keep on doing this. Exactly. Yeah. When people don't show up, when I'm just playing, there's a there's a chair right there. That's when it's time to quit. That's what it's uh, saying. Sorry, mom. Yeah, the home. <laughs> well, hopefully, when you're 81, we don't have to get you out of that home. Hopefully, you'll be on stage, rocking as you do right now, Ernie. I appreciate your time. Oh, you got right. other shit to do. We were your last interview of the day, and so you probably want to go get some food and just fucking chill out. So oh, I appreciate no. it. Don't don't eat before you play, cause ah. blah blah blah. blah. Uh, <laughs> That's always messy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Check out Body Counts' new album called Bloodlust. Buy it now. Pay for it. Or, or steal it. Whichever one you can do. <laughs> Come to the show. Come to the show. Come to the show. <laughs>